Just picked up another $1,001 bills from my lucky dollar bill bank, hoping to find us some more collectible U.S. paper notes, some printing errors, some rare star notes, or some older bills. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. Like I said in the intro, we've got another $1,001 bill search today. And uh, these are from my Lucky Bill Bank. I say Lucky Bill Bank. They have been producing really good amounts of star notes for me during my hunts. Not a lot of fancy collectible U.S. paper notes like I have listed on my mat here, but still good hunts overall and hoping to do more of the same. Obviously, if you're new to my channel or new to bill hunting, I always have clickable informational links down below in the video description that you can check out to help during your bill hunts or just to educate yourself on what collectible U.S. paper notes are out there. And finally, I will make mention that if you're interested in one of my collectible U.S. paper notes hunting mats, I have that either down below in the video description or a quick link to it right here. Feel free to check it out, like I said, if you have interest. That being said, we're going to get right to the hunt. You guys know how I do these. If you've been a watcher of my channel, I will hunt these bill straps off camera. There's 100 bills in every strap. And if I have any finds, I'll do the strap recaps with you. Obviously, if I were to get lucky enough to get something super fancy like on the mat, I'll probably go ahead and grab the camera in the middle of the hunt and show you what I found. Because there's 10 straps of 100 bills, obviously we'll have 10 strap recaps. And because I've talked long enough, we're going to get this hunt started. Hopefully I see you in the middle of the strap, but if not, I'll be back with a strap recap of the first strap of this hunt. Unfortunately, strap number one was a bust. Just a couple of cool notes just to show you. I'm not keeping them, but a bookender here, 21 in the front, 21 in the back. Had that zero before the last 21 been a four, would have definitely kept it 21, four fours, and then 21. It'll go back. Second, almost close call. I mean, technically, people do love the lucky sevens. There are three sevens to end the bill with a zero in front. Kind of looks cool, but not cool enough. Had it started seven, 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 and then had anything in the middle and ended seven, 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 I would have considered it, but we'll send that one back as well. Tough start, but it's only strap one. Hopefully, strap two gets us on the fines. Well, second strap was also a dud as far as fines, but we had another close call, and it's a trinary bill which means the serial is made up of three different numbers. And to some collectors, they will pay more for them. This one's almost cool. That eight in the front really messes it up though. Otherwise it would be a binary bill with only sixes and threes. And it was even kind of having uh, super repeater feelings to it with the 63s. Either way, I'm not going to keep it. It's somewhat close call as far as keeping, but uh, in the condition it's in with the heavy crease, yeah, it's not going to fetch anything extra, and it's got some gunk on the back. We'll be sending it back. Just another close call. All there is has been is close calls through two straps. Come on, strap number three. Help us out. Well, strap number three finally got us on the board. We have our first star note. It is a pretty beat-up 2013 K-Series. And as a quick reminder, at the end of all 10 straps, we'll go back, plug in all these, and see if we have any rare ones in the star note lookup site, which I do have a link to that down below. Outside of that star note, we had a couple of close calls yet again. Another trinary that could have been nice. We just didn't need that four in the middle. Two, eight, two, two. And we would have loved to be another eight or two in the middle, but the four messed it up. Again, just a close call. And then this one right here, same thing. Lots of twos and threes. One little six messing it up. Man, if I would have kept all of these, maybe they'd be worth something as a bundle. But again, they're in rough shape. So really, they're just face value. I just can't keep trinaries that aren't looking that special and or are not in great shape. All right, three straps down, one fine so far. Maybe it'll start heating up. Let's see what happens. Strap number four has been hunted. It was another tough strap. No star notes. Holy cow, only one star note through the first four straps. Kind of crazy, kind of reminiscent of the last hunt I had from a different bank. That being said, it's toying with us now. Take a look at this one. 5118, 5811. Has all of the makings for either a radar or a repeater. And if you don't know what those are, I definitely have them on my mat. But still, how close can it be? It's another trinary. It's really toying with me. This one's in pretty good shape. And honestly, the numbers are kind of cool. So I'm going to hold on to this one for now. Plus, we don't have a lot of fines. Four straps down. Only a star note. A kind of cool note. Nothing else yet. Come on, strap number five. Help us out. Strap number five did not give us a star note, but it gave us something better. Take a look at this. We have a repeater from 2021. 9288, 9288. 
and I actually saw 92889290 and thought, man, what a close call. And then a couple of bills later saw this one. I'll definitely take that. It does have a little bit of crease damage to it. It's not in perfect shape. I was looking online on eBay and crisp uncirculated 2021s that are repeaters, not binary repeaters, just repeaters, are selling between 15 to 20 bucks. They seem to be in a little better shape. So this is probably a $10 to $15 bill. Definitely will take that. That's a nice find. I knew it was a matter of time based on what I was seeing, just not seeing the star notes. And then, man, another close call. Look at this, 0221-2022. If that one would have been a zero or two, this would be a fantastic bill, but I still kind of like it because it has zero ones and twos, all low digits, but it does have a little tear at the top. And I don't know, man. It's just not in great shape. It has a stain back there. Chocolate or something. I don't even know. Either way, I'm going to have to send it back because of the condition. Had it been crisp and circulated, similar to that one, I probably would have kept it. But let me know down in the comments down below. Is this a bill you guys would keep and try to sell and make a few bucks on? I bet you I could still sell it for four or five bucks. But it just seems like more trouble than it's worth taking pictures and selling it on eBay. I'll probably send it back. One great keeper or repeater. It's been a while since we found a nice one of those. Five straps in, five to go. All right, if I can grab it. Let's see what strap six has in store for us. Strap number six was our first strap that gave us multiple finds. We got two star notes, both from 2017, both in pretty rough shape. We now have three star notes through six straps, so we're getting there. And then we had another find. It's a 1995 note. And I've said it before, you definitely want to check for what's called a web note. You want to check your series 88A, 93s, and 95s. Your web note ones are the ones that have the printing plate number above one, not below. And when I flip this one around, unfortunately, the printing plate number is 306. It's below one, so it's the common one. And if it had been a 295 note on series 1995, it'd be an error note, and it's not that either. So... Well, oh, by the way, we're going to keep it. I almost put it back. We're going to keep it because it is prior to 1999, and I am keeping the older bills just for now because some collectors do buy them who are putting together bill collections. All right, six straps down. Let's move on to strap number seven. Strap number seven was kind of a fun strap. We only got one star note. It has a tear. It's another older one, 2013. We'll add it to the star note collection we got amassed over here. Another close call, holy cow, 9464, 4946. And if you read it backwards, 9464, it's 6494 the other way. So it's not a radar, it's not a repeater, it has a lot of similarities as far as front and backwards, but not one really worth keeping, I don't think. I mean, it's just a close call. It's just a close call. It's only a trinary, though. And you know what? I think it's fancy enough. Maybe I'm starting to take fancy enough bills because it's a tough hunt, but man, that is, that's as close as they get come as far as a trinary is concerned to being collectible, and uh, I think I'm going to hold on to it for now. And then I wanted to show you these two bills down here, 2217-9999, and then the crossover, the very next bill in sequence, 2218-0000. I'm not going to keep them. There is no merit in keeping them. If those four zeros had been in the front of this one, I'd kept it, but... Kind of cool finding them together. And yeah, a lot of zeros on that bill. Anyway, let me know if you guys would have kept those. It can't be keeping all the bills. We'll keep that one and move on to strap number eight and see if we have more than just one keeper. Strap number eight was a bust. We're not going to say anything else about it. Come on, strap number nine. Give us some good finds. Strap number nine has been hunted. At least it gave us a star note. And finally... We have one in decent condition. It's a newer one, 2017A. And if I recall, because it's not at least 16 million, it's probably a common one. But at least we got a nice one. That's five star notes. And unless we have a whole bunch of them in the last strap, we will definitely fall short of what we wanted, which was one in every strap. That being said, I'll take fewer star notes for a few more fancy notes. And we got that today at least, especially that repeater. Let's get this last strap hunted. Hopefully gives us a couple of more finds to go out with a little bit of a bang before we finish the hunt. Wah, 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 wah. Well, unfortunately, strap number 10 was a complete skunker. Let me get the board set up over here really quick. I'll come back with a recap, and then we'll do the star note lookup site to see if we have any rare star notes. 
All right, here are the finds of the 10 straps. Light on the star notes, only five. Two from 2013, two from 2017, and one 2017A, the best condition of all of them. I'm pretty sure that that's going to be a common one, but I'll look them up here in just a second. The keeper notes, we got that beautiful radar. I will be flipping that up or putting it in a plastic hard case. Always fun finding these. Like I said, I probably can get $15 to $20 after shipping with this bill, and uh, I'll consider selling it. We had a couple of close calls, but they're nice trinary bills. I'm going to hold on to them because they are fancy enough that I think that they will fetch more than face value. And then finally, we had that older bill, the 1995, not a web note. We can still see that it has letters over here. And of course, the printing plate number is below one, not above. But I'll hold on to it because I hold on to all bills from 1995 and earlier, and it qualifies. All right, let me look up the star notes really quick. I'll bring you guys back to let you know if we had any rare ones or if they're all common. All right, I plugged in all of the star notes. Unfortunately, all five are common as expected. Common star notes like these are worth two to three times face. Some of these more rougher ones are worth about a couple of bucks each. And then this one's probably a $3 star note. Typically, what I do with my star notes is I collect them until I get lots of 25 or 50 notes. And then I usually just double the face value and sell them as a lot. So 25 star notes, I usually sell for 50 bucks, unless there's some rare ones that would be sold separately. That being said, kind of a tough hunt on star notes, like I've mentioned several times, but I'll take it when we got a repeater note, and I'll take it when we got a couple of other cool trinaries and one older bill. Hopefully, despite the lack of fines, you guys still found this bill hunt fun and informative. If you did, I certainly would appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching.